สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to be my guest. The program which brings you successful stories of entrepreneurs and organizations in both domestic and international arenas. I'm Sorosha Ratanapian. And Thailand is a tourist hub in Southeast Asia, where we accommodate millions of tourists around the world. And to be in the top position in the industry, entrepreneurs and businesses need to keep themselves improved and updated each day, so they can serve clients with standardized quality service. So in this episode of the program, we are learning more about SME Hotel Service Quality Award that is for entrepreneurs in the field who could set as good samples for others to follow. The president of Thai Hotel and Hospitality Management Association. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับ So uh, many people might be wondering right now, what is THMA? So could you explain a little bit more on the roles of THMA? THMA represent Thai Hotel and Hospitality Management Association. The association has been established since 2004. So This year will be the 13th anniversary of our association. Currently, we have about 550 members all over the country, or in almost 75 provinces. Most of them are SME hotel. Mm. Okay, talking about SME hotel is small and medium enterprises, right? Yeah, SME hotel uh, definition is any hotel which is. Uh, between 20 to not exceeding 200 rooms, mm -hmm. we consider SME hotel. Okay, and talking about SME hotels right now in Thailand, so uh, talking about the trend, so is it increasing or decreasing in Thailand right now? Uh, just during the past three years, I think the number of hotel, especially the small hotel, had been increasing mm. continuously. Uh, its uh, growth is between 8 to 12 percent wow. between uh, since uh, 2015 2016 mm. the average growth is about 10 to 12 percent wow okay so that has been quite a large growth then okay in the SMEs hotel industry here and now uh, we are actually uh, we have the event that THME is taking part in, in, in focusing that is Horeca Asia Expo 2017 and that's going to be an event as well that is the conference so could you explain a little bit more on this conference yeah we are very glad that the organizer Asia Horeca had invited THME to participate mm. in this uh, exhibition so we are very proud that we have a chance to organize uh, a conference which we call Thailand SME Hotel Conference 2017 uh, on the 13th of July 2017, which is a one day, mm. full day conference. In the conference, uh, our slogan is smart, sufficiency, and sustainable. That means the three S. <laughs> And then we have invited uh, many uh, leader, many leading speaker in mm. Thailand uh, in this seminar. In this seminar, we focus on four four topics. Mm -hmm. The first topic that we have invited uh, the director general of the environment quality promotion of Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment. Kun Sakon Tinakun. He will be the first speaker talking on the policy of Thai government mm. towards the Green Hotel Standard of mm. Thailand. Then the second speaker we have invited uh, Deputy Governor 
ฉัตรทันกุญจรนายุทยา from tourism authority of Thailand to give us a overview of the ASEAN connectivity and the tourism in Thailand the third speaker we also invited the former governor mm. of tourism authority of Thailand คุณพราเดชพยักขวิเชียน to talk on vision 2025 of the ASEAN tourism mm-hmm. and the last speaker we have invited the renowned uh, designer of hotel assistant professor e g a p o n g t r i t o n g who was the former dean of the interior decorative arts of s i l a p a k o n university okay. to give a A speech on the innovative design of hotel. Okay, so um, from your perspectives, why these four renowned and very popular speakers are invited in this event? Yes, uh, and besides the four speaker, we also have a special function in the evening, which we call a networking re- networking reception for all our members. Mm. And in this reception, we have organized a special. Uh, ceremony, which we call SME Hotel Service Quality mm-hmm. Award, which we will awarded 21 hotels, who are mostly our TSA member, mm-hmm. who have participating in the quality service evaluation program, which had done by a professional consulting company from Japan. Okay, so that event and this award will be given uh, during the dinner pre- uh, reception. Yes. Okay, but during the daytime it will be a conference day under theme three S, sufficiency, smart, and also sustainable as well. So why you have set these three S as a theme, you know, for this year Horeca Asia Expo 2017? Because for a small hotel, uh, I think these three uh, principle. Are the most important foundation mm. of the small hotel, because first now why smart? Because if they are not smart, they will not survive. <laughs> smart mean now they have to small hotel need to use efficient and and newest technology to save manpower. Mm-hmm. So that means they have to be smart. And second is that sufficiency means they have to run. The operation very economically. Mm. They cannot follow the style of the big hotel. That means they cannot be uh, having a lot of expenses, employing too many people, because this will be harmful to the business of small hotels. And the last one, sustainability. I think this is a worldwide uh, factor that the tourism industry has to be aware. Uh, either small or big hotel, because sustainable uh, sustainability has become one of the most uh, talk about factor of new travel consumer in the mm, world. Okay, so who can be the participants to join the conference on that day? The participant we have uh, invited uh, our TSMA members mm. and also the public and uh, and an entrepreneur, hotel entrepreneur. Uh, I would like to inform that this seminar is for free, so anybody can who are interested and who have uh, heard the news can register uh, for uh, particip- particip- participating in the seminar for free. Mm. We only charge uh, a small amount of money for the networking dinner, mm. which we charge for those who want to join the networking dinner for only 1,000 baht. Mm, for dinner, that's okay. all. But the the one day conference is for free. Okay, so you are welcome, and you are invited to join this conference day on July 13 and 2017. But for now, it's time for a short break. Right back, we we'll learn more on the hotel and service award, and also the details on the criteria on what good hotels should contain in order to deliver this award. So please stay tuned on the program. And welcome back to be my guest, and I'm with you, s a r o s h a r a t a n a p i a n and I'm still the president of THMA Thai Hotel and Hospitality Management Association, k u n g a m u n Ratana Wiragun. 
and during the last break have told us about the conference day and also the award as well which will occur on July 13, 2017. I would like to ask you a bit about the expected outcomes on what you are expecting you know, to obtain after having this conference out. The main objective is to build awareness uh, in two areas. Mm. First is the area of environment friendly or sustainability of a small hotel, which become one of the major factors which most of the international tourism are seeking for. And even in Thailand, the government is also focusing on raising the standard of environment for hotel by having this green, green hotel standard. Mm. So in this, we have invited the Director General of the Environment Quality Program to be the speaker, just to encourage and to motivate most of our small hotel mm. to be aware of the importance of the environment and to enroll in the program. Mm, okay. And the second thing is we focus on the tourism marketing, which is more on international and ASEAN, which have become the biggest uh, contribution to our tourism, tourism industry. Mm. Because now in Thailand, uh, besides Chinese, we is the biggest contributor <coughs> contribution of the tourists in numbers. ASEAN uh, tourists also are be, becoming increasingly mm. uh, number two. Mm. So that means now, include Chinese and ASEAN, it has become our major tourist uh, contributor. Ah, okay. So participants can actually learn the new trend and also maybe the design as well of the new trends in hotel, especially in small and medium enterprises, yeah. and they can learn how to respond to the Thailand's government policy of 4.0 as well okay apart from the conference and in and at the dinner reception that will be the award given out and this award is SME Hotel Service Quality Award so could you tell me a bit about the background of this award okay the the reason of that we have organized this hotel service quality award is that now the world is changing and uh, consumer want to listen to third party mm. comments rather than the hotel themselves telling them, uh, telling the people how good they are, you see. So, in our survey, we find that now before booking, the consumer will always refer uh, to the review mm. on the website. Either it's a trip advisor or some others, you know, and they have uh, made decision mm. based on review. So what we have uh, tried to do is that during the past two years, we have been studying about this trend and want to establish uh, uh, a kind of survey which is li reliable mm -hmm. and uh, not only based on emotional, but we also want to make it uh, uh, with uh, support evidence, with supporting evidence. So we have selected a program uh, we call Mysterious Chopper Program. Mysterious Chopper Program is always done in big five-star hotel or, or international hotel. But for small hotel, it's very difficult to do it because just to uh, employ an international consultant company to do for one or two hotels mm -hmm. costs a lot of money. So nobody can do it. So what we have done is that we have studied uh, one of the specialists who are specializing in Mr. Chopper consultant mm -hmm. called M&S consultant from Japan who have been uh, in the service for many years, especially in hotel and restaurant mm. and banking industry, Mr. Chopper. So we have cooperate with them to organize a mystery chopper program mm -hmm. or a hotel review uh, since last year. 
And in this program, we <coughs> plan to do it annually. But for the first year, we only managed to have about 21 hotels joining this program because uh, each hotel also takes some time for the of officers or the mysterious chopper team before they can go in because uh, the procedure is that when they enroll into this program, they have to tell a specific uh, timing that not too busy for them so ah. that the mystery chopper can, can visit. I see. So that's why we have to wait. Though we have been doing this for many months, but during the high season, we cannot do this. So we have to wait until low season. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit crowded then. So after the season came, what they do is that the mystery chopper, they book into the hotel without letting the owner mm. or the management know. They just book in as an ordinary guest. You know. And they will stay in for 24 hours using accommodation, using all the meal service or facilities. And then paying the bill normally as normal guests. And when they come back, they will prepare a report mm. of what they have seen, what they have experienced. You see. From that, then the company and the team will meet with our team of consultants at the uh, hotel association. Mm. And then we discuss. Okay. But we don't influence their decision. Whatever they've seen, whatever their experience has been recorded, we only uh, review. You see. Ah, okay. And after the review, then we set up certain grading in point. You know. And from this point, we translate into status. I see. We have, then, we have three status. First is good, second is very good, mm -hmm. and the third one is excellent. Ah, okay, good, very good, and excellent. Yeah, so all these 21 hotels will receive uh, grading according to their performance. Ah, okay. So uh, where are these hotels from? Okay. So they are from this, um, Bangkok? This year we okay. have altogether 21 hotels. We have a uh, few hotels in Bangkok. We have hotel in Hua Hin. We have hotel in Chiang Mai. We have five hotels in Phuket. Mm. We have hotel in Samui. And we have hotel in Krabi. Mm. All together, we have 21 hotels. So all in all, there are um, hotel and SMEs hotel in touristic areas in Thailand? Yes, mostly, mostly. Because if they are not in touristic area, they will not care. <laughs> about this uh, customer review. I see. Yeah, but if they are in the main destination, I that's see. why I said, before customers select the hotel or decide to book, they always refer to the review first. Mm. And from this uh, review that uh, the consultant company give the grading. And because this company is a Japanese company, so the other benefit which all the participating hotel will forget is that all the list of these 21 hotels will be published in Japan. Wow. Yeah. Mm. So that it will be in the community of the mystery chopper, mm. which we have a base of about 400,000 uh, persons mm. in Japan. Okay. So that means uh, the mutual, uh, no, besides the benefit they get from the review, they also get some marketing. Mm -hmm because they can attract to uh, a new group of customers in Japan. Okay, and new social media can attract maybe new Japanese customers and consumers to that yes. hotel as well. So it's a great opportunity for SME's um, hotel who received the award this year in 2017. Okay, but for now it's time for a short break right back and we learn more on the criteria on what good hotel should be and also the opportunities for people and entrepreneurs in this industry. So please stay tuned, don't go away. And welcome back to the program. You're watching Be My Guest with me, Sarosha Ratanapian. And after we have learned about hotels and service, okay, award 2017 here, we have to learn more about how long this award will last or what evaluation will take place or when the evaluation will take place again. Uh, because there are certain factors that will deteriorate your service. 
First is the changing of employee, and second is the aging of the facilities. Mm. So we recommend uh, all our members that if they can evaluate every two years, that will be good for them so that they will keep the consistent of booking of their customer. Mm. So this year, the first group is, uh, had been uh, evaluated during the past four months. So this group will stay validated for, for two years. Mm. Yeah. Okay, for two years, and then um, later it's recommended that, that every two years they will be assessed again, okay, for the quality and also for the service, okay, quality of, of their hotel. And what about uh, what THMA will do next year or the following years? Uh, for this program, uh, that after July, we plan for uh, application of new hotel to join this uh, review. Uh, program next year we plan to have a little bit more hotel mm. because we have more more time. Probably next year we, will, we are expecting to receive application for 30 to 35 hotels. Ah, okay. So more hotels will be assessed. Okay, so that more um, accommodations will be evaluated and also more tourists okay will visit okay that hotel who received the award. Yeah. And as a president of THMA, so is there any criteria of what a good hotel should be? I think that there are a few uh, criteria. First is about the service function of the hotel. That means either that hotel has been, it is not that hotel is designed beautifully or not. Uh, it is more about the service function, whether it can service uh, or the client mm -hmm. uh, with convenience, with comfort or not. Because there are certain hotels which are quite beautiful in design. But function-wise, mm. it is very difficult to service. That is, I think that is a, a defect in the hotel mm. itself. So I mean, if a hotel can be classified as good or even very good or excellent. First, it depends on their service function. Second, it depends on their service employee. Mm -hmm. Because service employee is the main criteria, whether a hotel is good or not. There is a saying that a hotel without good service is like a body without soul. Mm -hmm. Okay, so service function and then service employee yes. are two major points Okay, to a good hotel and also um, okay, good SMEs hotel, I would say. And I believe right now many SMEs hotel owners, they are desperate and then fighting and struggling very hard to stay in the market. So um, to cheer up them, okay, so what are the opportunities as a president of THME, the opportunities of their hotel in the industry? In fact, whether the hotel will survive or not, uh, depend on two things. First thing is they have to do sufficient marketing. Uh, we have to say in another word, more aggressive marketing. Mm. Hotel who did not participate in aggressive marketing and do marketing on the receptive side, we have a price cutting problem mm. because they because they don't go out. So when they stay and let the customer come. Customer always bargain for cheap price. And this is one of the problems which we always educate and try to motivate our member not to cut price but to offer value mm. instead. Okay. You see? So this is one of the problems that we are facing. And second, there are new, more new hotel every year. Or let's say every month. Every Monday, at least one or two hotels open in Thailand. You know. So this increasing number of hotels have a more beautiful design, better service. This will be direct competitor mm. to the existing one, you see. So new hotel has to be, uh, have to answer the need of the customer. You see. Now you cannot do hotel according to the owner's mm -hmm. need. You have to do the hotel to answer the need of the traveling consumer. 
So marketing seems to be a key word here, and also don't jump in the price war, okay? Because that's not the answer, okay? For the new hotels, which are occurring right now every month, okay, in Thailand. And for those who are not yet the members of THME MMA, suppose they want to be one. So what they can do in order to join the association? Uh, for our association, it's very easy to join because we have no membership fee. So we can, you can follow, follow our activities with, on our website, you know. Uh, we have a website, worldwideweb.thma.or.th and we have uh, various activities uh, on the website. So you just participate in one of our activities, either training program or business matching activity, mm. then you become the member already. We okay. don't charge. Any fee. And so last but not least, any final notes for our viewers? I would like to uh, cheer up all the hotels, uh, especially the SME hotel, that this year is still a good year <laughs> because judging from the number of tourists that are coming in, I think we have still a good figures of incoming tourists. Only if you can keep your value then you can keep your hotel sustained. Mm -hmm. Okay, and thank you very much for your time today. Kap Kun Kap. Kap Kun Kap. SME Hotel Service Quality Award has been one of the initiates which stimulates entrepreneurs in hotel and hospitality industry to create sustainable development and elevator service to all clients who visit. Moreover, the award has shown that Thailand is now elevating its standard to the international level as one of the great hubs of tourism in the world. And that's all the time we have for Bima Guests this week. Thank you very much for watching us and tuning in on Bima Guests. For more information, you can log on to thainews.prid.go.th/en. And I'm Sarosha Ratanapian. Swadikat.